Greetings gamers! I've been working on a new game called Incoming. Incoming is a 3D VR missile defense game. Protect your cities with a wide assortment of defenses against waves of warheads, bombers, zeppelins, and epic bosses. Wishlist today on Steam. Link is in the description. Greetings, Starve Bearers. Welcome to another episode of Starfield and Cobalt Thorium. And in this episode, oh, where am I going here? Okay. Where the heck am I going here? Actually, did we? We didn't really explore this place, did we? We've met some of the people, but not all of the people, because we were escorted up. So let's meet everybody, and then I think we're going to just continue on with this mission. Enjoy your visit to Hope Tech. Thank you. If you'll excuse me, I am on duty. Mr. Hope is a vital part of not only Polvo, but of the entire Freestar Collective. Okay. <laughs> I fear for whoever gets between a ranger and their quarry. I don't believe we have a meeting scheduled. You must be looking for someone else. You're a jerk. I get the impression that we're supposed to not like this person. Keep an eye on your valuables. If you can't protect your own, you don't belong here. I get the feeling that Mr. Hope is supposed to be sort of a contemptible businessman who's sort of... What I need is a coffee machine right next to my desk. I agree. In fact, I have. Just processing another order for pickups. Popular model. Oh, there's a computer here. Should check some of these other computers. Audi. Yes. What? Named character. Hello. But no unique options there. Finally, the contract's out the door. Something going What's on with next? Her. Texture there. Office work. Every day, my inbox just keeps growing. All right, let's check this out. Computer. Notifications. Security reminder. Your security software has expired. Please contact your provider for the latest update. Automated update failed. Automated update failed. Update available. A new update is available for your current operating system. Wonderful. That is uh, quite a bit how, like, Windows is, isn't it? You have yes. an urgent update, and then it, like, fails to install. Come on. Hey. Go. Go on. Go. There we go. We might hit a new record in sales this month. It's a tough town, but these are good people. Is there any friction between the Rangers and big companies like Hope Tech? Or what's the division of responsibility between you and the local security? Not usually. Local security handles most of their issues. Every once in a while, though, we need access to sensitive information as part of our work. Badge or not, some folks aren't fond of letting us poke around in their books and personnel files. Honestly, though, it's not that common. Most people are willing to work with us because they know it's in everyone's best interest. Gotcha. What's the division of responsibility between you and local security? Think of it as a small picture, big picture proposition. The small picture is local trouble, things that happen here in Hopetown. Handling that is local security's job. Mm -hmm. We rangers protect the entire Freestar Collective, so we deal with problems that span multiple worlds. Smuggling rings, escaped convicts, pirates preying on shipping. Those are the kind of things we handle. That's why there are rangers stationed in different settlements. It lets us cast a wide net. Okay. Bye. Um... Hmm. Okay. Can't talk to you, I guess. That's interesting. I just want to get all these approvals over with. Hard to get better prices for a father. All right, I'm mostly skipping people who aren't named characters here. We'd be dust except for the factory. Okay, might have to go down to that factory too. I wonder if we have access. Oh, this person's probably named. Excuse me. Hello. Uh, hmm. Okay, so I guess this guy's an engineer. What ships have you worked on? Well, all of them. I've been with Mr. Hope since near the beginning. 
Hmm. I think he appreciates my attention to detail and my focus on the fundamentals. Although he has been hinting that the R&D budget may dry up if I don't produce results. Well, if you don't produce results, then why are you here? I mean, the whole point of an engineer is to, like, make the ships better, make it so that it's cheaper to make them, things like that. Okay, well, what's it like being an engineer here? Oh, it's marvelous. Generally, they only care about efficiency, cost effectiveness, and reliability. Hmm. Oh, sure, there are the odd complaints about comfort and lack of decent airflow, but they almost always side with the numbers. Okay. That seems sure, pretty straightforward. Fine. Precious cargo. Our lives in your hands. And this is all very straightforward. No magazines or anything. Oh, no. That wouldn't work. The O2 needs enough capacity for the whole ship. Might have been a magazine upstairs. I don't recall. Our motto is their trucks in space. <laughs> really, you need to hear Mr. Hope say it. Welcome to Hope Tech. How may I help you? Can I see Ron Hope? If you have an appointment with Ron Hope, he's on the top floor. He's very busy, so. If you don't have a meeting scheduled, he may not be available. Who do I see about buying a ship? Miss Anaya can take care of you. She's to my left on this floor. Have a nice day. They should really fix that so that it's not like to my left or like, you know, down the hallway on the right or something like that and actually make it so that they can script gestures, you know? I think we've talked Can to this person. You? Welcome to Hope Tech Sales. Give me your invoice. You got the financing set up already? Who do you think I am? Some middle manager type? Like 90% of everybody I deal with. <laughs> Listen, you may need to impress your boss and all, but I don't care. Let's just get this done as efficiently as possible and we'll, I'll just tell everybody how amazing you were. Wow. I'm thinking about buying something here. I'm not sure yet. Oof. Oh, a potential customer, huh? Well, what you need to know about our ships is they're from stern about built for reliability. Other star yards might got glitz or some weird crazy lines. With Hope Tech, you get people that care about you making that 300th freight run safely and on time. What do you think of Ron Hope? Listen, this whole system was nothing until Ron Hope came here. He gave us a purpose, a, a mission. Something we could be proud of. To us, this job is life. And the quality of what we make shows it. I like the sound of Hope Tech. Or, I don't know, aesthetics matter to me. <laughs> She's not gonna like that. Uh, actually, you know, Sam might also not like this. So, we'll go with this. A smart person chooses substance over form every time. Sound familiar? So what are you in the market for? How'd you wind up here? I worked the freight lines flying a Hope Tech ship for near a decade. Gertrude saw me through plenty of scrapes and just hard travel. Hope Tech ships will save your life. They did mine. What can you tell me about your ships? Our motto is, they're trucks in space. And captains pushing freight through the systems are our bread and butter. But Hope Tech builds solid. A lot of formidable scout ships and even military rigs use Hope Tech. Uh, let me see what ships you're selling. Certainly. Take a look at them. Does that look like a truck in space? I suppose it does, actually. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool looking. The uh, asymmetry is interesting.
Star Semi. Star Semi. Big rig. Oh, that's definitely a big, big rig. Look at that. That's big. And it's a rig. Having the giant foot there, like right in front of the nice unfolding ramp thing kind of doesn't make sense though because it almost feels like that would be like for some kind of rover or something there's this giant foot in the way oh jeez this actually looks pretty cool a lot of engines look at that that's good stuff Let's move on. Okay. Tall and boxy. Whoa, look at that. That looks like a freaking warehouse. Jeez. Wow. Jeez. Space truck. <laughs> Pick up two. I'm getting a particular feeling for this. Wow, these ships are m enormous. They're not terribly expensive either. Watchdog too. It's almost got like a grasshopper look to it. They have docking ports on the front. That's kind of interesting too, huh? Actually, if we're raiding ships, maybe we should put our docking port also on the front. Because ladders are like kind of a horrible choke point. It's certainly giving me ideas. I want to see how big some of these ships are. It's 2149. It's kind of a beefy boy, I think. That first one is bigger than these ones? Oof. Why are you so thick? Oh boy, that's big money too. We can afford it, though. So, 2463. 2463 is our beefiest. Where is that? Oh, boy. <laughs> it's much smaller. Oh, jeez. After looking at those other ships, ours does not look very, like... Solid. Those other ones look like really beefy. We got this. Who even makes this? Does it have a brand? Doesn't really have a brand, does it? I like these bigger bays like this. Maybe we should do something like that. But I like our, I like these landing gear better. Actually, you know what? I really like the landing gear that these guys have. Maybe not this one. These engines, I don't like that as much. But like, where's the one, these big feet? Well, maybe not that one. Or that one. Oh, I guess that these, the engines with the feet are sort of standard. Hmm. Yeah, this is the kind I was looking at, but these look like engines here. 
So maybe engines and feet are sort of ubiquitous. I don't think we're quite ready to ship out with a different ship. So right, you're just a customer. The prices, I try that. Customer. Buy, like a fleet of whole tech ships for the same price. Off world Nothing ever good comes from that. Just keep it holstered. We'll all get along fine. All right, we can't talk to that person. Go into the factory floor. Hello, worker. Those Ooh. jackasses on line A are gonna be the death of me. What the hell? Come on. What is going on here? Come on. You missed the tour? Yeah, this is where it happens. Listen, I ain't exactly customer-facing, so just go on your way and neither of us will get in trouble. How would I get you in trouble? I don't have time for niceties or damned manners. I know one thing, how to ride these blockheads until we make something good. Looks like you've got your hands full. Or I prefer the straight scoop instead of marketing bullet points. Oh, she'll like this. You do? Well, I guess we'll see. So here is the factory floor where you get to see me wrangle a bunch of morons into, oh, I don't know, doing their damn job. You must be the boss then. Or well, the workers can't be that bad. Or you're not exactly instilling me with confidence here. No, this is a Ron Hope joint. And you'd be wise to remember that. Mr. Hope built all of this made this whole area more than some two-credit agri-plot. If you want to ask questions, make it quick. We got a tight delivery coming up. So you run the whole floor. Every rivet, every piece of plating goes through my team. If you've got a Hope Tech ship, it means I've crawled through every inch of her at least once. Working conditions seem intense. This ain't no highfalutin New Atlantis desk job where everyone gets their after bleed and noon tea. This is Polvo. We work for a living. If you think this is tough, you try farming in the tundra. Believe me, these blockheads got it good. What's the deal with Ron Hope? Polvo was just some nowhere dead ender until Ron Hope had a dream. Let's build sturdy, dependable ships. No nonsense, none of that damn Tayo glitz and glamour. Just a ship that flies right and will get you where you need going. Ron Hope's a goddamned hero. Wow. Yeah, yeah, bye already. All right. What do you think the chances are we're actually going to find anything out here? This giant factory. Probably pretty low, right? Should I just give up? stuck. Robots. Boy, please do not interfere with my tasks. They all say the same stuff. I don't know, there doesn't look like there's a ton here. I don't know if I want to spend a lot of time here. Like, there's not even stuff to really pick up or steal. There's somebody. I think that's just a regular worker, though. The regular workers seem to have that um, welding hat mask up all the time. That's kind of like their look. Oh, that is a staircase to nowhere. Are you a staircase to somewhere? 
inside of a ship. Hello. Oh, no. No, there's really nothing here, is there? That ship looks like it's almost done. Maybe we'll head on over there. Just take a peek. What the hell is that? <laughs> Reminds me of the time I was half out of my gourd in Hope Town. First time we tried that gun. It's kind of nice. Plenty of ammo for it. Take the 777 Industrial Workbench. Big risk. That flying leap for nothing. Alright, I'm gonna check out that nearly completed ship and then I think we'll head on out of here and actually go and do our mission. No, there's nothing here. Alright. Time to move on out. Let's see if we can just get straight back to the ship from here. see if we can all right so our next quest is to go back to um, neon again as if we haven't been there enough we do have a couple quests here so this is probably not the worst idea oh yeah we've got the Ryujin Industries quest too what is this Well, that's kind of interesting. Let's set a course for Volwai. We have two missions. Restart collective space. Hold while we scan your ship. We should have no contraband, so this is okay. All right, you're good. Welcome to Neon. Do we want to check out that weird building? 
Could be interesting. Actually, how how surveyed is this? That's right, we're gonna have difficulty getting the resources here. It's a water planet. I'm gonna check out this Volice side. Come on, I'm pressing the X button, it's not doing it. Hail acknowledged. Star station operating under automated control. No further response possible. Let's see what's going on there. What do you want to guess? Some kind of Hell 9000 scenario where the computers have taken over. This flashlight is so anemic. Alright, we can steal, it seems, anything. So that probably means that this is going to be a hostile environment. Where it's not illegal for us to take stuff. Alright, let's go. Oh, yep, we have hostels. And they happen to be robots. He advised that. <laughs> Here comes the fun. Not that I know that from personal experience. I'll rather know from personal experience. Oops. loot as we go in this case. Doesn't seem like a terribly large star yard, but then again, looks can be deceiving. These places can really open up into being a a robot's only as useful or friendly as it's programming. Sure that this area is all cleared out. Nice to be back. Before we do a loading section, or before we load into a new section. What's the door over here? 
robots can be incredibly handy to have around. Okay. Well. Where do you think the computer for this is? Let's just check up here really quick. See if there was like a computer over here or something. There is. Well, we can't do anything with it. Okay. Alright. So, yeah, no idea where that computer is. It's probably on the way out. Maybe there's some boss fight. And we come out that way. Pretty good suit, honestly. If it weren't for the no thermal. Protocols in effect. Engagement. <laughs> Everything's blurry. 
Oh, there's a guy right here. I didn't even see him. Not a good place to stand. This is like a really bad fight. I should be taking these guys easily. Whoa, what was that? What? Should be taking these guys easily, like they're definitely within um, a level that I should be able to easily beat. But yet I've had to suck down two health packs because I've just better we get it than someone else. Taking too many risks here. At least we've evened out. We sucked down two med packs and we found two med packs. So we're probably okay. In fact, it would be great if we could find just a few more. Morning. Whoa. Nice. Fight me.
seem to even notice us. Seems to be no way back. What the hell? I, why can't I jump? Peaceful music is back, so we're probably all done with the fighting. It's kind of a weird engagement, honestly. Weird little battle. I wonder what flavor of corporate greed this is catering to. Right. Right, well, let's do this in an organized fashion. We'll loot the way that we came in because we kind of we're sort of doing the loot as we go, but I don't think that we really kept up with it very, very well here. So we pretty much have to start over, at least in this room. Yeah, we definitely looted this area. Okay, cool. I uh, looked in there. Oh, he's got a digipack. I'll take that. I still don't know about these power circuits. It's worth quite a bit, actually. But yeah, I still don't know about like power circuits and stuff like that. That there's a steady, not. relentless, soul-crushing hum of industry. Yay. Stop it, Sam. You're starting to sound like a commie. Oh, what is this? Okay. there. And that goes there. This is very straightforward. Robot control interface status inactive. Update friend or foe settings. Okay. Recalibrate. Activate. We'll get some friendlies going here. All right. We have to find one more health kit to get back up to parity. Places like this are bankrolled by some corrupt corporation or another. Stop it. I got no problem hurting their bottom line. Alright, so that's that'll lead us back out.
to save. Wow, this person's really shoved in there. What's a navigator space helmet? Uh, it's not great. It looks nice, but it's not a not good specs. Not good. Uh, not good um, cost or value rather. Let's try to do this quickly. That looks pretty promising. Got this. Credits, ammo. Yep, we like that. Alright, we'll do this again. Get some more allies going. Combat's over already, but uh, you never know. More baddies might show up. Alright, I think this section of the hangar is searched. And in fact, I kind of think that the other section is too. We sort of did a cursory look, but I think it's pretty much... That doesn't really need more than a cursory look. Check that side. I don't know if we checked this side. Nope. Odds are good there's some sort of security. Corporations don't like people playing with their toys. Shut up, Sam. You're making me like you a lot less. Wait a second. Do we go up in there? I feel like that's where we came in. There's like a giant trunk there, though. I don't know if we actually looted. Actually, that might be where we got the space suit. platform. So now we're just down here. <laughs> Nothing on this side, but we know that there's plenty on the other side. If we can find a way to get over there. Why are you not letting me through? Weird game. Industrial operations like there's this giant holes. Shut up, Sam. What am I hitting? So, there's some collision bugs there. Space Adept Bridger. Grab that. Formal slack suit. Kind of want to see what it looks like.
All right, I think we're good in this hangar. Still pretty sure we've been up there. Wonder what they're building here. Ships. See? It's right there. everything useful. A lot of calm relays. Nuclear fuel rod, always tempting. Despite the weight. They don't seem all that rare, though. We're constantly finding them. Nice. Alright, we're at parity with med packs. We have a code review. Tell Woodson to revert that fix from the weapons test. It malfunctioned. Luckily enough, there was no live ammo on the factory line models. We really averted disaster with that one. The package he modified even had a dependency that would affect Model A's. But there's no excuse. It's been three weeks since that change went in, and it's been brought up multiple times. I won't ask again. Alright, so somebody's worried about safety protocols. Most likely... Developing something that was um, immoral and inadvisable, <laughs> which is how things tend to go in games like this. And it got out of control and it bit them in the butt because that is pretty much the plot of every one of these like locations in a Bethesda game. I am 100% on board purloining anything we need from here. All right, we've already been up here. Stun mine. A toxic, a toxic gas mine. Gummy bugs. I really shouldn't pick up gummy, gummy bugs. It's too much like eat the bugs. It would be advisable to vacate this area. Like, what if they're actual bugs that have, like, a gummy exterior? A gummy exoskeleton. Stop getting stuck on things. Damn it. What the hell, dude? God. God. What the... Four. This sort of trap. Actually, let's go this way first. I've already been this way, but I don't think I was really searching. Yeah, it was not, but there's nothing here. Oh. So Sam must have killed that. Seems like there's another one on the other side. Is there any way up there? It's a positron battery. Uncommon. done here really not a lot not even a lot of like like ironic lore or anything like that like you kind of expect from 
Bethesda games. I think my favorite one, recently anyway, was the uh, in Fallout 4, the um, the school with the pink ooze. That made them all turn to pink zombies. <laughs> Fall down. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Got some ammo. Sure, why not? Assisted carry calibrated UC Marine something. Take all of this stuff. Alright, let's see what that is. Um, is it a helmet? Here we go. Sturdy, less incoming melee damage, antiseptic, uh, assisted carry, drain 75% less O2 when running encumbered, that's kind of cool. Basic backpack. It's not bad. But let's see if we can get some lore here. Computer. System lock. Unable to process request due to error code 7310. Too many attempts have been made. Unauthorized entry prohibited. Please contact an administrator. Weapons testing computer. Hack novice lock. Yes or no. Do that. Internal messages sent. I kept on getting chewed out by Supervisor Dick. Or Dick. Dark. He talks about our incompetence while completely forgetting Woodson left two, uh, two weeks ago. Maybe actually be better at your job before telling others to do theirs. They kept underpaying my best people and the delays started to pile up. <sighs> oh, excuse me. I guess I'll just have to get one of the new interns to look into it. Hmm. Here, let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, why not? Hmm. Interesting. Everything fits somewhere. Hmm. actually works the hell system restored welcome all right weapons testing computer deactivate turret testing protocol override in progress 
It doesn't matter, we killed all the turrets anyway. Actually, we should check that turret. It's probably got some stuff in it. So we came in over there, right? So where was that, like, high-powered mining turret? It's this one. I think it's huge. dead people. Weapons workbench. Hello, dead person. Kill paste. We'll take it. This is the answer to this. It has to be. So now it's just like this. Picking out these last. lore up here. Hello, Nova Galactic number six. Permanently re reduces fuel needed for grav jump by an additional one percent. Excellent. That's the kind of stuff I like to see. that emergency exit. Open the damn door. Come on, give us some resolution here. Some story, please. I want to know what happened. I mean, we can kind of guess, but it would be better to have some flavor, you know? Tell me a story. I guess we could get no story. This room is completely useless. There's nothing here. Well, 
That's a bit dis... That is a bit disappointing, I have to say. Now, maybe something will send us here. What is this? We haven't been here yet. Bathroom. Come on, medkit. No medkits. What kind of bathroom still have a little... Not a med kit, but like a first aid kit. Well, whatever. Let's get out of here. Nothing really special here. Some people messing around with robots. They got out of control. Massacred everybody. Did we massacred Usually the robots. Like oh, shut up. I'm starting to not want to romance Sam anymore. He's a goddamn fucking communist. Oh, how do we miss this? And he's supposed to be a good old, good old Western boy, you know? That's the vibe that you get from him is that he's he's a little bit of a cowboy cowboys aren't, aren't commies you know anyway let's get out of here this is where I belong in a factory? factory where everybody got massacred by robots? That's where you belong? I don't know about that. Okay. We got some ace so. programmers in the Freestar. They can do some amazing things with robots. Alright, well let's wrap it up here. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have, please like, maybe comment, maybe share. I hope you're having a good day. Maybe subscribe. New episodes every day at 4 p.m. Eastern Time Music in Canada. I'm Cobalt Thorium, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.